but hey guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video we're gonna be building a house in the magic realm no. Br I forgot Blanderville Blingleton Editing Wendy, can you correct me please? <laughs> Little Simpsy is rolling all over her grave. Plum Bella is shaking at her Hogwarts scarf. Juno Birch is stoned. We are gonna start with the old house that I built in Glimmerbrook or the Magic Realm expansion pack. I'm a fucking noob, don't come for me. And it looks like ass, I'm gonna be honest. I call it the white witches lot, not because I'm, I'm not racist, but you know, some witches, like they're called white witches. They're the good ones, so don't come for me. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the box, as Little Sensei says. And honestly, I learned how to build by just watching her videos. No, I don't just listen to them. I watch them, like they're that good. But yeah, I learned just by watching them. It took me a while because I'm still learning to this day. I've been playing The Sims since quarantine started like two months ago. So I'm a fresh baby out of the boom. Speeding up because I forget I need to talk. Okay, so as you can see, I'm putting like a fences on the two-story house. I'm putting the roof. She kind of be oof at it. My boyfriend moved his papa. Okay, so um, I'm putting what looks like to be the roof. I'm bad at roofing. I don't know how she does it to get like the second. Like it looks like a cake, right? So like the middle part, I do not know how little Simsy does that thing where it fades off. Mine just looks like whiskers. But I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Okay, so I went with a green roof because she was looking cute for a witch, a oh, nice witch house. Oh, I'm not good at this. Okay, so I was thinking of giving it like the side portion, even though it's gonna look like cat ears. Okay, so this shit's boring. I'm not gonna be describing the house anymore. I'll just be talking about what happened today in my day. This is why I don't leave my fucking house. Like, mm -mm. crazy people be coming through. Oop. <laughs> I can't with the ledges. Uh, mm -mm. Okay, so this guy was kind of being thirsty for me on at CVS. Like, he was being thirsty. Like, he's one of those. He looks like a construction workers. It was just. It's been quarantine. It's been a long time since he was getting it on. So he thought with me, but he thought wrong because he was chasing me at the parking lot. Mm -mm. So, you know, when you finish putting your groceries in your car, you put the cart back like a good citizen, right? <laughs> and I did that shit, right? So when I put it back, I saw this guy taking out money. I wasn't looking at his card. I ain't that type of shit. I ain't desperate. But like, I saw him because he wasn't wearing a mask. Everybody else's, and it's not like no longer a thing in Texas. Like the restrictions were lifted, but I was just eyeballing him, like shame on you, you know. But he thought a bit wrong. He thought I was like checking him out when I wasn't. He's fucking ugly looking like a caveman. Yeah, we got all mm. to go. Okay, anyway, so I'm building the kitchen. <laughs> oh, I can't do these videos. I suck ass. Um, okay, I guess I'll just go back to the guy that was checking out, checking me out. So, homeboy over here, just like he was creepy. I thought it was just gonna be me walking out, ne me never seeing him again. I thought wrong. So. As I was in my car waiting for the car to cool off because it's hot as balls in Brownsville or in Texas in general, it was it was like 102 degrees. So I was just looking at my phone waiting for my car to cool down because it's hot as balls. And like he reversed his truck right next to me and I was like, ew gross, this fool wants to talk. So I was like, hells no. So I put a GTA move and I was just moving I yeeted out that parking lot but then there was this black car that 
backed out so I couldn't keep going straight or obviously I was going to crash into the car, right? So this fool goes throughout the other way and gets too close to my car where I thought he was going to like my car and I was like, oh hells no, you got such a big truck, like fuck that, you know? So I was waiting for that black car to go. I was like, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, like vamos. Like <laughs> this fucking guy's ugly chasing me down because he's been beeping at me and shit. So then the black car it goes. I never press the accelerator so hard in my life, but not so hard where I'm gonna hit the car in front of me because I'm not a dumb bitch. But and I remember turning to the light to go the way to my house and this fool goes right next to me and honks constantly. I'm like, oh hell no, if I don't roll down, my window's gonna be like some Ted Bunny type of shit. So, um, I'm sorry, Wendy, who's, who's editing this. You're gonna have to like bleep out this shit. Nah, probably not, cause I'm not making money. So, um, he's right next to me. He's beeping and I was like, you know what? If I don't answer right now, he's gonna follow me all the way to my house. And I don't think so. So I lowered down my window. I'm like, uh, yes, sir. And he's like, hey i like your makeup and i was like oh thanks like i know that's just fucking bomb but <laughs> and then he he's like are you from here and then i'm like uh, yeah otherwise why would i be here you know that's a stupid ass question in my opinion but whatever i guess i look too white they make me in this color too you know but he was trying so hard and then he's like hey do you want to go get lunch sometime and then i was like i have a boyfriend and then he's like he doesn't need to know i'm like dumb bitch yes he does like the fuck i live with him <laughs> and then i just rolled up my window and i was like looking up and it was like the longest red stop like ever it was like a four minute i like when i got there i was hoping it was green so i can boop, boop, yeet the fuck out there like out of my way so he doesn't chase after me but i got there when it just barely turned red so now i'm gonna fuck that shit i don't know but i don't know if that calling has ever worked on a girl but not on me mm -mm. This fool wasn't wearing a face mask to begin with. Back watch it. Okay, wait. So, uh, anyway, back to the house. So, this is a. Uh, what? <laughs> I'm gonna cut it out. Okay, so this is a house that I made with two living rooms, one room, two bathrooms, and one kitchen. So, and then the living room upstairs is gonna have a bar, and also I included a witch room so she can. Um, advance your skills and sk skill points because just like the occult swims oh, the occult swims the occult sims um they have like a cool like a map where they can like learn how to do all these spells and magic tricks and part of the story plan and or the gameplay Ugh, little simsy's rolling in her grave right now <laughs> shaking and yelling and complaining at ea's builds but i like the occult sims I agree with Pumbella, but I just like that part. So she's gonna have her own little room to practice witchcraft when her other Sims friends are around or her human lovers. And the character I created is a cute young adult female Sim called Beverly Staff, Staff ah, Beverly Stafford. And the next video we're gonna I'm going to be showing like me creating her, all her outfits and her personality traits and all that jazz. It's going to be fun. It's going to be nice. So yeah, that was it. This was the only time I left out of the house today and I don't regret it because what I kind of do. That guy was mm, creep. And it's ironic because I went there just to buy munchies for me, like my, my babe. Okay, so the toilet's basic as hell, but like, trust me, after this, like, I was building more homes and I got even better. I even realized how to make the counters in the kitchen go like long or thin. 
I'm still learning. I'm still, I'm, I'm honestly a noob, but you'll never hear me say I'm a Fortnite noob. No, you'll never hear me say that I'm a Fortnite noob. I don't do Fortnite. Mm -mm. I do Minecraft. I do The Sims, but not Fortnite. It looks kind of whack. It looks like. Mm, as no offense to ninja but it just looks like something for like seven year olds that are raging when the they get their xbox taken away <laughs> i mean me too okay what else are i talking about i can't think i don't know how little simsy does this in her videos or plumbella they just keep on talking for like throughout the whole video i cannot okay so i added a bar for my witch because she ain't gonna be about that silver life she's gonna be learning about witchcraft while getting crunk and being educated of course she's gonna be a smart witch not a dumb one so yeah and honestly i really like this game pack i call it an expansion pack because it's it's added like two new worlds so that's why i call it that even though it wasn't i think it's a game pack so i really like it for what it is like i if anything i'm the opposite of little simsy i like halloween and occult sims vampires mermaids and which which is over christmas i do not like christmas i never had a good experience over christmas so f that <laughs> I had a better experience with Halloween over than Christmas. Let's just be honest. Who didn't? But yeah, that's just me. I'm the opposite of her. I have nothing against her. She's cool. She's talented because I don't know how she keeps on talking for like throughout the whole video. I can't do that. I just have to think of things I have to think about. Okay, so this is towards the end of the video where I'm just decorating the outside. It's really casual and cute. Something for a young adult chick who's into magic wants to get crunk. Gotta have the light porch. So you know, people can't like just hang in there instead of walking into my house being all rude because I'm gonna lock that door. I hate when other sims walk in. Okay, so I'll leave you guys there. Here are the some pictures of the house that I build. And if you like my content or if I made you watch these 12 minutes of your time that you can't get back, don't forget to like and subscribe and have a good one. Till next time.